What's up guys, it's me, your pet ass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so, <laughs> after a two-month-long break, we are Winden City. The booming metropolis was designed and developed by our very own Chairman Rose. Hmm, guy's name seems to be popping up a lot. But yes, we're going to be taking a small tour of this whole place because, uh, well, it, it looks very, very nice. Look at that, Corviknight looking like a shadow chicken itself. And, uh, well, the first place that we have to check out, of course, is the uh, Pokemon Center because we need to heal up our Pokemon. Because uh, we went through a lot. Now, if you guys haven't noticed in the last episode, yes, my Pokemon got buffed. They're all above level 70. Three at level 80. Four, four is on the way. Yeah, I, I did a lot. I did a lot, a lot. And I mean a lot, a lot. And I mean a lot, a lot, a lot, because, uh, well, this, the, this is, well, this is the main reason to why I took a month or two off from Pokemon Sword and Shield, because I needed to train these Pokemon up for what was to come, which is, you know, the Pokemon League, the events after the League, and all that crud. So now, in this episode right here, we are going to be, uh, taking a look at some stuff in Winden. Yeah. Nothing too big, just... Take a look at Winden and all that crud, because there are quite a few things that you can actually look at, find. It'd be it's it's freaking great right here now. Of course, my mom and dad work for the league. They're always away for for the champions matches, and it's well born here on my own. Well, kind of sucks. Now this isn't actually the house that I needed to go to. There is a place right here that you can actually get a very very rare Pokemon, and well, I'm just trying to find it. Let's see. The truest evolution for Pokemon is, I believe, become a part of the team of true friends as they live together with the grow uh, with and grow close to humans. That is not the person that I've been looking for. Now, when then you can actually find an individual right here. Hold on. And yes, you can find an individual here that can trade you a very, very rare Pokemon. I'm just trying to look for this person. And as you can see, if I make it up on the stadium's big screens during the finals, then the whole world will know my face. Yes, because everybody wants to be famous. Instagram famous, YouTube famous, all that crud famous and all that stuff. Me, I just want to play games. I do. And, well, let's see. Talk to this guy. Hmm. Seems I've, I've run out of time in, uh, to reread all the books I've got on my shelves. But even looking over their spines and reading the titles brings back lovely memories. Now, if you guys can't tell... Not much of a reader myself. Really, I'm not. That's why I have a lot of hard times to actually read everything, the dialogue right here. So, yeah. Now, as you can see, if you talk to this individual, he's like, I'm searching for a Frostmoth. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? I have quite a few. If you do, I'd like for you to trade it for my Duraladon. Du Duraladon, please. Yes, let's go ahead and trade. So... Frostmoth, of course, is a very, very difficult Pokemon to obtain because this Pokemon right here actually evolves via uh, via friendship. And well, how I got this, I actually traded it from my other version. So let's go let's go ahead and see if I do have another one. Nope, I do have his pre-evolution. And just to give you guys a heads up, po putting the Pokemon in the uh, Poke Jobs does not increase their friendship. You actually have to do that on your own. At your own time. So I'm going to trade this guy right here. And he's like, oh, you really traded the, that Frostmoth? Yes. So here it is, guys. We are trading a Frostmoth. And can you hear this? <laughs> Brings me back to the red, blue, yellow series. Holy crud. And, well, they switch it up right there. And bam. Kapoor has been, or has sent Linear. Take good care of Linear. And, well, let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon. Duraludon's, uh... Duraludon. Well, his, 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 uh, data has been put in. The Alloy Pokemon. Now, this guy is a Steel and Dragon-type Pokemon. 5'11", 88 pounds of pure Steel. And a little bit of Dragon. Its body resembles polished metal, and it's both lightweight and strong. The only drawback is that it rusts easily. Wow. Thank you so much. It's it's just as splendid as everyone said it would be. It really gets my uh, creative juices flowing or growing. So let's go ahead and take a look at this Duraludon. 
Now, it's caught my interest. It really has, guys, because I don't have a Dragon-type Pokemon on this team. And, well, as you can see, this guy is at level 50. The Pokemon I trade was at level 72, so that right there kind of just, uh, it, it, it kind of pisses me off a little, because it's like, hey, man, seriously, could at least sent me a Pokemon same level, that kind of stuff. So, as you can see, Duraldon, or Linear, as he would like to call it. Steel and Dragon-type Pokemon. He does have some very good special attack, very good attack, high physical defense, but its special defense is, yeah, it's not, it's not that good. Its speed, not its, not its best. Of course, its ability is heavy metal, doubles the Pokemon's weight. Hmm. Meaning, if you do, if you do have a move that is weight based, bam, this is the Pokemon for you. Now, its attacks right here is Iron Defense, Laser Focus, Dragon Claw, and Night Slash. Now, let me see what this one is, Laser Focus. The user con concentrates intensely. The attack on the next turn always results in a critical hit, so now I probably should have used this one right here for uh, Quack Ore. Now, I'm really debating on using this Pokemon on this team. Actually, I don't want to... Yeah, I'm really, really debating on using this Pokemon on this team. Now... I've already established a team right here. You got Blitzkrieg, Baconator, Quackor, Optimus, Michelangelo, and Dumbledore. Now, I did say in the last episode I was thinking of switching out Dumbledore for uh, for Ponyta, the Galarian Ponyta. But that right there was, you know, Nyx because of its stats, basically. It has, out of its, what, one, two, three, four, five, out of its five major stats, four are good, one is bad, and, you know, I can live with that. Now, Duraldon is a Dragon and Steel type Pokemon. It is a nice combination. The only, well, one of the biggest drawbacks to it is its special defense. Like it says in its uh, in its entry, it rusts easy. So, I kind of don't think it would be a good fit for my Pokemon team right here. But I would like to use them in a, in a night, like, later on, just to see how it actually works and all that stuff. Believe it or not, guys, its gig uh, Gigantamax form is pretty cool. Now, speaking of Gigantamax... Let's see. I gotta, I gotta take a look at this guy. Yeah, this guy is not a Gigantamax Pokemon. It does not have the special form to it. Which, by the way, guys, it's a very, very hard Pokemon to actually find. So that's one thing you can actually find right here. Now, there's another place that you, or there's another, uh, another place right here that you can actually find uh, something right here. Hold on. Let's see. It is on. Oh, third house, third to last house, or. The third, yeah, right here. So if you go into this house right here and talk to this individual, he's like, well, n well now, what's this? I see you have a rotom phone and a bike. That means you must have already know how to do, or uh, how to, or already know that the Pokemon Rotom absolutely loves to jump into all sorts of uh, different motors. If you want to find out how Rotom enters motors, then try to best my very own Rotom. Okay. Prepare to be confronted by all the various forms of my dear Rotom. Okay, so this is a move right here. Or this is a game, or not a game, but this is actually an event that you can actually uh, learn, I guess. This guy does have different forms of Rotom. Of course, this guy right here is, uh, or Rotom right here is a lawnmower, so obviously it's a grass type Pokemon. So. I'm just gonna shoot it with some boom burst because, well, lo look at the level type, guys. Not going to waste my time or lots of time on this guy. So, there we go. There's one down, and of course, he's gonna come out with another Rotom. Let's go right ahead and take care of this guy with a Blitzkrieg because we need to get to level 80s right here. So, let's go again. Another boom burst. Boom burst for the win. Yeah, buddy. Say goodbye. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And, well, let's see. Coming out with another Rotom. I am going to stay put right there. Now, the last Rotom we just beat was a fire type. Now, here we have a washing machine guy. Obviously, it's a water type, so let's go right ahead and use Overdrive for the win. Was it? Oh, wait. Was it? No, actually, could have been a flying type. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I just mixed up and everything. But Rotom changes its type and moves when it changes its form. Why are you flexing? I want to know. You defeated every one of my Rotom. You should be able to put put this in the catalog to good use. 
And here we have a Rotom catalog, which of course, right here, a catalog of devices that Rotom likes. Use the catalog to uh, have Rotom hop in and out of the various devices listed within. If you use the Rotom catalog, it will let Rotom enter all sorts of home appliances. Oh, and of course, Rotom can get out again, I guess. Okay. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at this, okay? I kind of want to I kind of want to see this. The Rotom catalog. And huh. Oh, you need to have a Rotom. Okay, so never mind. Never mind. Okay. So, let us move on right here. We've already we've already found the two things that we needed to find right here. Let's go straight into this area right here. Of course, this is the park. You'll be able to find a Pokemon battle here and there, but you'll be able to find some items like this one right here. And look at that, we found ourselves a bomb mushroom. Haven't got, uh, well, we haven't gotten any of those as of lately. And well, let's move on right here. There is a special, there is a Pokeball right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, try and get to it. Of course, this is a maze right here, so not very good with mazes. Let's go here. And good gravy. Come on, trees. Good block in my way. Grab this. We found ourselves a grassy seed. Which is an item to, uh, to be held by a Pokemon. It boosts the defense of, gra of grassy terrain. It can only be used once, which kind of sucks because that's the only one, I guess. And here we found ourselves a rare candy, which, of course, is, a <laughs> is, a, is actually a, a nice item that we kind of need. We kind of used up all the rare candies, guys. No lie, we kind of did. All right, so let's go right ahead and uh, move on to the other side right here. That way, you know, we can take a look at Winded and all that stuff. Now... Let's see. Some of you guys, some of you guys have already known, or it has already been announced, guys, that Pokemon Sun and Moon is a go. And believe it or not, I am actually working on the episodes as I, you know, I'm currently speaking right here, as you're currently watching this this video right here. Now, I am planning on coming out with a walkthrough. Hopefully, hopefully by June. I want to say by June, can't be for sure guys. Now let's go ahead and grab this, look at that, we found ourselves a Max Revive. And look at this, there's a, there's a boutique right here. Is this a boutique? Okay, we can't go through there. Okay, which was the door? I don't know. But look at this guys, we're looking at a few good places. There is a boutique, a hair salon, a Yoshida's office, and quite a few things. But what I'm trying to do right now is I'm just trying to grab items. Obviously, I want to visit every single one of these things right here, but I think it's more important to get the items first before we do anything else. So let's go right ahead and take a look at other stuff right here, such as this area. You will be able to find a few items. Let's see. Can you go on this? No. Go right here. You'll find an item right under the floor. Look at that. We found ourselves a blob of black sludge. Blob of black sludge. An item held by a Pokemon. It gradually restores HP to a poison-type Pokemon. It damages another, any other type, which is a pretty cool, a pretty cool item to actually have. Now, there should be another item right here somewhere. But like I was saying, guys, Pokemon Sun and Moon is being recorded, and it is being, uh, well, it's in, it's in the works. And well, like I said, when it will come out, I am kind of actually wanting to do it like at the beginning of June. But it could come out earlier, depending on how it goes right here. Now, here's the other item, and look at that. We found ourselves a nugget, so let's go right ahead and go back right here. Man, this place is amazing to look at. Uh, I think I already know what Pokemon I'm going to be using. Uh, and the reason to why I'm actually recording it right now is so I can save time for, you know, my future schedule. As many of you guys already know... The reason why there has been less walkthrough videos is because of, uh, yeah, because of uh, football and everything. Now, this is the last month for high school football, which is good and bad, but, you know, liberates me just a tad bit for a few other stuff that I can, I can do and I can actually uh, upload and all that stuff. So I can't wait for that. It's been a fun season so far, undefeated, because, yes, I am a badass, and, well, Let's see, what else can we find right here? Oh, look at this! A Pokeball. Found ourselves an air balloon. Of course, this one is uh, can be held by a Pokemon. The holder will float in the air until it hits. Once the holder is hit, this item will burst. Of course, it will not be used ever again. So this is another, that's another, you know, item that, that kind of 
Yeah, it's another item that, you know, it's it's kind of useful, I guess. I don't know. Now, let's see. What, I, what I'm doing right now, guys, is locating stuff, talking to you guys, heart to heart. I know that it's been a while since we, we, we've had Pokemon Sword and Shield, constant uploads and all that stuff. But, you know, I'm kind of like telling you guys what's going on right here. Look at this. Riding the bike. This is definitely the uh, thumbnail right here. But like I was saying, guys, the future walkthroughs that will be coming out, I can't wait. I am still trying to come out with uh, Pokemon uh, Coliseum, which, you know, hopefully will be coming out pretty soon right here, too. Now, where the hell am I? Okay, so the Pokemon Center. There is a second Pokemon Center around here somewhere. Ah, the Winden Stadium. Okay. Right over there. Well, I guess we're going to go there. And if uh, our good old quote-unquote buddy happens to stop us, then it's on us. As you can see, you can actually get a few items here and there. Get your league cards and whatnot. And let's see. Actually, what, what is this one right here? Challengers are so just amazing. Any mistake? They make scenes of tens of thousands of times of fans, but the challengers keep on battling as if it was nothing. They must have all nerves of steel. Okay, okay, never mind. Okay, so let's go ahead and find that little item that's around here somewhere. There is an item right here, guys. Trust me. There is an item. I'm just trying to locate it. It should be right here somewhere. Hmm, there it is. And look at that. We found ourselves in X Speed. And let's see. I believe this is the Pokemart where you can actually buy yourself some TMs. Let's see. Yes, this is the technical machine uh, office or, you know, mart right here. And they will actually sell you the punch. The, uh, the punch techniques, fire punch, ice punch, thunder punch, and drain punch. Of course, solar, b uh, solar blade is in this thing right here too. Planning on getting that one. Hyper beam. These are super powerful moves, which of course I will try and get little by little. That way, you know, we actually have a good advantage into the Pokemon League. But that is pretty much it right there for this episode, guys. Just wanted to talk to you guys a f about a few things. Um, let's see. Is there anything else? Hmm. Ah, yes, there is an ultimate move tutor around here too, which I'll get to later on. But as you can see, guys, we are done with this episode. I know it's short and all that stuff, but just be happy that, you know, we're coming out with walkthroughs. In the next episode, we will be going through the very first round of the Pokemon League. Believe it or not, it is a playoff format. And, well, we got, we got a few challengers up ahead. And I kind of don't want to, I don't want to spoil it, but I kind of want to just get on with it because it's going to be fun. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.